On today's episode of Matt Covers Tech, we're going to talk about a great little device that a lot of people seem to be sleeping on. I think it's going to have some wide appeal, so uh, let's check it out. Uh, yeah. Welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here. And if you're joining us for the first time, a warm welcome to you. Today, I want to bring everyone's attention to a device that I became aware of, oh gosh, I want to say about eight months ago, maybe, um, that I have not seen anybody else talk about. And I don't know why, because frankly, I think it's phenomenal. Now, I was given this in exchange for a review. Not this. It was a review on another website. It's long done. And the company said, you can keep this, um, do with it whatever you want. You want to give it away, you want to keep it, you want to sell it, that's up to you. Um, so I've kept it. And that's saying something because I don't keep all review units I get. Some of them just aren't very good. In fact, uh, there you go. Let me show you one that I wouldn't give away because <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that to someone. This is the, what is it called? The RF-206 by Ratty, which if you think is Radioddity, you're correct. Ratty is also known as Radioddity. It's uh, their brand. This is a shortwave radio with AM and FM, and it can play some things off of a compact flash card, and it can also connect to Bluetooth to play things off your phone. Huh. When I tried to use this thing, it has two power sources on it, which I had uh, installed in both cases. On the back here, flip it over for you, there's a door for four AA batteries. And on the side is an AC in, both of which I had in at the time. And even though that was the case, it power cycled on me twice for no reason. Just completely powered itself off. To this day, I have no idea why that was the case, and I gave up on it uh, shortly thereafter, so uh, I wasn't going to figure it out. Um, it just wasn't good. It had a hard time tuning things, whether it was FM or AM or shortwave. It could tune. It just skipped past things sometimes. Um, just couldn't walk in on stations for some reason when other radios I had could. And um, it sounded terrible. It really did. And frankly, I don't know, the silver cone in the center of the speaker just kind of screams 80s. And I don't know, it's not like I have a problem with things that look like they came... All right, so anyway, I don't like this thing. And I wouldn't give it away. Also, <laughs> oh, this was the killer. There's an antenna jack on the back. And I have an antenna that I use for shortwave. All of my shortwave radios and my SDRs, and it works with all of them. It's a magnetic loop with an amplifier in my attic. Whether I had the power going to it or not, or other antennas, this thing stopped working as soon as you plugged in an external antenna. That's when I was truly done. So, yeah, garbage, 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 garbage. Wouldn't recommend it, wouldn't give it away. But this, oh, this... This is a completely different story, my friends. This is the <laughs> Portable Outdoor Radio by Gradio. That's the name. Um, very original. There's the name of the company, Gradio. I think that's how you say it. Gradio. And Portable Outdoor Radio. But friends, this is so much more than just a radio. <laughs> You'll understand why I kept it in just a few minutes. So here we are. This is the radio, and it comes with this lovely hard shell case with lots of padding inside to keep it safe, and a USB-A to C charging cable. Let's set that aside. Let's get this out of the case. Top view, front view, side, side, and back. Back. All right. So let me lay this down here. I started playing with this thing, like I said, six to eight months ago. I don't exactly remember when. And um, the first thing I noticed was the looks. I really like the looks of it. Yes, it's a little tactical, but it also feels really good. It doesn't necessarily feel cheap. It's light, and it's plastic, but it doesn't feel like thin plastic. And that's a good thing. 
that's a really good thing. It is not IP67 rated. This is not waterproof or dustproof, so don't go giving it a swirly. You won't be happy with the results. It is an AM, FM, shortwave, and weather tuner. You can tune any of those bands on this, and they work really, really well just with the given telescopic antenna. Um, I didn't really try an external antenna on this one because it doesn't have a jack. Now, I do have an antenna that you can hook to the external one, but I didn't need to. And I was indoors as well, and it just locked in on all of the bands really well. So I never felt a need to use an external antenna. The receive quality is just that good. Some other things that this wonderful little device can do. Uh, it has scanning and manual tuning available. And what I mean by that is you can pull in one of the bands and use this dial here to, you know, um, scan through frequencies manually. But if you don't want to do that and you're moving through, let's say, the shortwave bands from like lower to higher, etc., there is an auto scan button back here for up and down. Right here, you hold that down for a second and it will scan to the next uh, station that it can find. And it works really, really well, even on shortwave. The sound quality is hard to express how good this is. Now, it's not like a hi-fi system, but if you've got a decent uh, Bluetooth speaker that you use to play music from your phone, let's say uh, like an Anchor Soundcore 2, that happens to be one that I have, this is very comparable, and it might even beat it for warmth of tone. It sounds that good, as opposed to that ratty that sounded terrible. I don't know why anyone would want to play music from their phone through it, because it just makes it sound like it's coming out of a tin can. It's awful. This is warm and rich and full, plenty of bass, plenty of clarity. I'm not going to tune in a station for you because I don't want to get a copyright strike. It's just a little too iffy. But I'm telling you, it sounds like one of those decent Bluetooth speakers, which is interesting because this also works as a Bluetooth speaker. Yes, you can set this in Bluetooth mode and stream audio from your phone or tablet or whatever, and it's going to sound good. And it's going to have a decent amount of volume, too. There is a headphone jack, and also near the headphone jack, you will find behind this protective cover, which is a nice touch, micro SD card slot that will let you put music onto the micro SD card and play it back from this yep another feature not only can you do that but let's say your phone is dying because you've been streaming music to this or you know you just forgot to plug in your phone well guess what you can plug your phone into one of these USB jacks and charge your phone because this is also a battery bank <laughs> We're not done. Um, it charges via USB-A or USB-C in the back. You just saw those plugs. And let's say you're not anywhere where there's power. Well, I'm sure you've noticed that there's a solar panel on the back. Now, I don't necessarily rely on that. But it could top it off or at least give you enough to tune in a radio station if you happen to be in an emergency situation. Or if none of that is working, like let's say it's a cloudy day, it has its own hand crank. <laughs> which can charge the internal battery and your phones and everything like that. Now, I know this takes a lot of work, but, I mean, if you've got nothing else you can use, hey, <laughs> I'd go for it. Um, there are some silly things on here, like the flashlight. Now, the radio has to be on in order to use the flashlight, which, I don't know, I find kind of weird. Like, why not just have the flashlight be its own thing? But uh, you turn it on by holding the button at the top or just tapping it. And uh, it's pretty bright. Seems silly, of course, until you need it. Much like the compass that's built into the volume. <laughs> um, seems a little silly, but I guess if you needed a compass in a pinch, it would work. Um, so, yeah. And the antenna options on it. Again, I, there's no external antenna jack on here, which is kind of a bummer. I can understand why, maybe, because you know they were trying to put a lot into a little package here. Um, there are long wire antennas that you can use that will clip onto the internal antenna down at the base. They're usually like a little alligator clip that clips on here and then you run the wire. I'm sure that would work. I actually have one like that from an old Sony uh, shortwave radio that I had. I didn't use it. I just didn't need to. 
this thing worked well enough without it that I didn't bother. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a budget radio. It's about 40 bucks, I think, on Amazon, $39.99. I have noticed that it will be in stock and then out of stock. In stock and then out of stock. And it's um, hit or miss whether you're going to find it in one state or the other. I do have an affiliate link below that helps out the channel, but I can't guarantee you that it's going to be in stock if you go and look for one. So um, if it's not in stock one week, go back the next week and see if it is in stock. They'll usually tell you how many are left, you know, like only 10 left or whatever. One silly feature in this that <laughs> I don't use at all, it has sleep sounds built in, like birds and a brook and, you know, stuff like that. It, it doesn't do white noise as far as I found. It just has those other things, which I, I don't sleep with that kind of stuff going on. But hey, if that's something you need, then, then that's there too. But in any case, I am just really impressed with this thing, and I'm really glad I was able to get it. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to hold on to it. And if you like to listen to shortwave or you just need something for camping or emergency situations, I would really highly recommend picking up one of these things. So that is the Portable Outdoor Radio by Gradio. Uh, again, really pleased with it. And uh, if you pick one up, I hope you're pleased with it too. All right. So that's it for this video. And remember, when it comes to tech, I've got you covered.